These diamond gatefold cards are beyond easy. And let me tell you, they can be made in about five minutes time. We're gonna walk you through all the steps. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome to another Tuesday tip video. I'm Connie Stewart with simplysimplestamping.com. Today we are going to feature a really unique card. This is called a diamond gatefold card. It's created with just half a sheet of designer series paper. I'm really excited about uh, the designs that I've created. So let's head over to my stamping table and I'll show you how to create one. All right, friends, we have seen the cards in action. I'm going to show you how easy these cards are to create. We're going to start with this one here because these flowers just make me happy. Let's go over the supplies that you need. As always, remember, I've got my free download that goes along with today's video. So you'll have the complete supply list, your measurements, everything that you need so you can recreate the card. And if you need to come back and rewatch the video, I have a QR code here. You can click or you can scan that. You can come back and watch it again. Friends, you'll find this at simplysimplestamping.com or if you look down in the YouTube description, there is a direct link. All right, we are going to start with a piece of designer series paper. This is a five and a quarter by 12, and I'm gonna be using the delightfully eclectic paper today. I'm going to use two pieces of garden green, four and a quarter by five and a half, and a three by three. You're also going to need a couple pieces of white cardstock. I have a piece here. This is three and three quarters by five. This is for the front. That is going to be a two and three quarters by two and three quarters. With the 12 inches of the paper up at the top, we are going to score at two inches, four inches, eight inches, and then 10 inches. Let's do some folding. I'm going to bring in my bone folder and I want you to crease it with the bone folder very gently. Now I'm going to take and fold outward that two inch. So there's the two and the four. I'm going to bring this around. It'll fold right there in half. And you can see we have just a basic gatefold, right? Now you're going to want to decide which side of the paper you want to showcase. And I've decided I love those pink stripes on the inside of my card. So I'm going to show you just how that gatefold's going to work. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to create this little fancy thing here on the side. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold my paper, line it up right there with that score line, give it a crease. I'm going to repeat that here just like so. I'm going to repeat that now on the other side. So you just want to be able to see that crease line. And when we bring our gatefold together, you see it looks like that. I'm going to take just a little dot of some adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere these little triangles down in place. Let's bring in that piece of uh, garden green. And what I want to do is I want to adhere this only on one section, okay? Because obviously we want our card to open and we don't want to seal it shut. So I only want adhesive on this side, something like that. So when I go and I close this, I want the points of that diamond shape to be right there on the edge of my designer series paper. It's gonna look a little something like that. All right, shall we do some stamping? I'm featuring two stamp sets today. Sadly, both of these sets will be retiring very soon, but I had to use them because they were a couple of favorites. Uh, this one here is Bottled Happiness. Now, it's these flowers that I absolutely fell in love with, and they match this paper perfectly, but none of the sentiments were quite right, so I brought in circle sayings because I wanted to create a very simple thank you card. So any of your favorite sentiments will do. So let's go ahead and get that sentiment. I'm going to bring in a Moody Mauve ink pad. And before I start to stamp, this is kind of important. I want to make sure I have my cardstock in that diamond shape. I don't want to accidentally stamp it as a square, uh, which is what we would typically do. So we do want to make sure we've got that diamond shape. I'm going to stamp thank you up here at the top. 
Now I'll come in with my garden green ink pad. Let's go ahead and stamp some leaves. Now one thing I love about this stamp set is I have the leaves uh, on one block and then I have the flowers on another. So this is going to allow me to create this great big incredible floral image and I'm able to do it in the two colors. So I'm going to stamp some greenery there. And here, this is for the inside of my card. And I do want a little bit of greenery in that one as well. Because I want to match my card, we're going to bring in Bubble Bath to stamp our florals. So I will just ink this up. And you do want to take a minute. You're going to see the centers of the flowers. That's what you're going to use to make sure you've got your flowers right where you want them. And you can see we've got that beautiful image. Let me go ahead and do this to the inside of my card as well. I'm going to bring in my card. I will add my image, my front focal image there, the inside of my card. So I've got a great place to write my message. But you notice we've got that beautiful designer series paper just being its awesome self there on the inside. Let's add our little piece of ribbon. I'm going to press that onto a mini glue dot and you know with this one it could be up at the top or it could be at the bottom I think for this one I'll go ahead and add it right here at the bottom all right the final step is to just add our card to that piece of garden green it really just kind of sets off the card nicely and check it out look at that we've got all these great florals I love the pink stripe a very fun card and guess what this will easily go into an A2 envelope so it's going to be easy for you to mail. All right friends how was that for fast right that is a five minute card would you like to see one more? Don't forget I've got that free download for you that goes along with today's video you'll find it at simplysimplestamping.com or if you'll just look down in the YouTube description I've got a direct link for you. This one is a lot of fun. I love any kind of card with fruit. And I loved these little bubble bath strawberries. I thought they were sweet. So for this card, I'm going to bring in the Simply Sparkling stamp set because look at that little sweet strawberry. It went perfect. So let's go ahead and create this card. So the supplies for this card are so similar to the other card. My designer series paper is also from Delightfully Eclectic. So uh, that would be that five and a quarter by 12. I have a garden green four and a quarter by five and a half. This time though, I'm going to use bubble bath as the focal square on the front. Remember that was a three by three. I have two pieces of basic white, two and three quarters by two and three quarters and a three quarter, or I'm sorry, three and three quarters by five. We're going to score again at two, four, eight, and then again at 10. Choose the pattern you want on the inside. And remember we score and then we fold back. Now I want to tell you on this card, I actually did something just a little bit different um, with those uh, folds there on the side. So you're going to want to stick around and I'll show you how we did that. So. We have this pattern, right? We're good there. I'm going to flip this over and just like we did before, we are going to fold our corner down, line it up with that score line. And just like we did before, we're going to do that to all four corners. So what I'm going to do on this card is instead of these being folded out, I'm going to fold them under. That's all I'm doing different because I want a little bit more of my strawberries to show. A little dot of adhesive here on the corners just to hold those in place. I'm now going to add that bubble bath right there. Remember we're lining up the points of our diamond right there and we only had adhesive on that one side. It's time to stamp and we're going to use some memento black and the sentiment in this stamp set is best ever. Remember, I need to turn that. I need to make that a diamond. We'll stamp best ever. And then we're going to take that little strawberry and we're just going to randomly stamp that all around that sentiment. And we're going to add one more little strawberry to the inside of our card right down there. 
I decided to use Stampin' Write markers this time. You could also use your Stampin' Blends, but it's just an easy coloring in. And these little bubble bath pink strawberries are gonna match the strawberries in that designer series paper. I'll come in with a little garden green and we'll get the leaves here of our strawberry and then we'll be ready to put this card together. All right, so there are my sweet strawberries. I think you can see the opportunities with this card are truly endless. Just have some fun. And what a great way to use up maybe some of that designer series paper that you've needed to give a little extra love. All right, we are now going to put adhesive on the back of our card. We'll add that right there to that garden green because it gives that fabulous pop of color. And there we go, my friends. I'm telling you, this fantastic five minute card cannot be beat. I mean, talk about a fast and easy card. Grab that designer series paper, give it a quick score at two, four, eight, and 10. And in a matter of minutes, you're going to have these incredible fun fold diamond gatefold cards. Thank you so much for being here. I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up on YouTube. While you're there, subscribe to the channel and share with your crafty friends. The more the merrier. Thank you all for being here. We can't wait to stamp with you next time. Bye-bye.